I can't believe I actually got them. What's good YouTube, Ash Bash back again with another video. Like I said I would. Um, first of all, shout out to all the new subscribers. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well because I've got loads of videos to come. And yeah, I am super gassed to be back with another unboxing. No Adidas today, that hype train is dead for one day. And we are back to Nike, bang. And we've got a pair of Jordan 1s, which I cannot believe I actually got. If anyone was trying to get the Jordan 1 Black Toes on the release, it was a bit of a mad one. All the other sites were fine, but Nike.com, which is where I normally get most of my stuff from because they're pretty reliable. The day that they came out, it just said, nope, gone. I thought, are they instantly sold out? Did I get, did it get backdoored and I just missed out on it? Then Nike said, we're not releasing it today. We released it like on Thursday. Then I tried again, didn't happen, got cancelled again. And I was on the way to work and my mate texted me and said, oh, they're coming out today at eight o'clock. I was like, oh my gosh. I start work at 8.04, so I've literally got four minutes to try and do it before I've got to go and jump on my train and start working. And luckily Nike's new system worked out for me. Shout out to my boy Fab. I was able to cop them and now they have arrived, so let's get into it. So just a quick look at the box. UK size 10, Jordan 1s, black toes. As all the Jordan 1s do, they come in this black and red box, which is cool. And let's get into the kicks. I've actually opened this already because the trainers come unlaced. And I hate doing a video when it's unlaced. I think it looks gross, so I had a little peek, but you can join me now for a proper look. And boom. That's what I'm talking about right there. Jordan 1, black toes. So we've got that fire red at the back. Black swoosh. White toe box. And then red sole and a white midsole as well. And they've got the Jordan logo straight there. And I can smell this leather that is very nice. Yeah, this is the exact same sort of um, materials as the red ones. When these came out, I wasn't actually going to go for them, to be honest, originally. But when I got the breads and I saw how comfortable they were, I was actually feeling it. Because the first Jordan ones I got, they were the light blue and white ones. They're not the, what's the name of them again? It's totally skipped my head. But basically, the real versions of them, they weren't that version. They were like some offspring random version and they were like 40 quid and the quality is not as high as these. So that's what I assumed all Jordan 1s were like. So I was a bit reluctant to buy them because they're not super comfortable, but the Jordan 1 breads were comfortable. I'm sure these are gonna be fine as well. But yeah, very nice. Um, also lovely detail. It's got Nike Air on the tongue. And also it came with another pair of laces. Some red laces here. Not sure how it would look in here. It might work, but I think that black and white look on the front of the shoe looks pretty dope to me. So put in the comments whether you think the red laces or the black laces, I'm not too sure. Might try and lace up one of them and see how it looks. But yeah, I'm gonna throw these on feet now, uh, show you what they look like. Let go. My bitch got a body like Alba. What up, dog? I'm the alpha. So you better watch out, bruh. And that goes for anyone around us. Planted the money tree with my only fucking seed, now it's sprouting. Never had a fuck to give, so I see. No fucking point in counting. That's for my accountant, he's good at counting. Only thing the crib don't got is a fucking fountain. So I need a fountain. And we're back. Yep, they fit fine. So for like all Jordans, I go true to size, which is a UK 10. Wear that in my threes, my fours, my sixes, my elevens, everything. So yeah, these fit great. Glad to have got them. Uh, I saw on Sneaker Play people saying that these were not a GR, but quite a big general release. Which would explain how I got them so easily in the end, but I don't know. But very happy to have got them. Uh, I see that they're sort of what the top three Jordan ones are coming out soon. I'll show you a picture of them right now. I don't know how I'm feeling about them, to be honest. I was just talking to my boy Lawrence this morning about them. He's debating between the threes and the ones, and 
none of the lighting. I think they're a bit odd to be honest. If they were the exact same pattern on both shoes, it would make a bit more sense with the sort of roll blue at the back and maybe the red one at the front. I don't know if it would work, but had I've done it, I'm not feeling that. And the Jordan 3s, had them before and sold them. I don't know if I'm going to buy them again, probably not because I've been a bit OD on kicks lately, so maybe not. But I've got hell of a lot of videos to do. Another pair just came in today that I randomly saw on um, Sneaky Deals GB on Twitter and I had to get them to a pair of kicks that Eddie Wynn showed me ages ago and I thought were dope. Price tag was mad. Now it was like literally less than half price, so I went for it. But that video will be coming soon as well. Still got my grail sitting there. And so I haven't done the video yet, but I'll get to that ASAP. Sorry for dragging out this video. Ash Bash signing off. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.